Six signs that you are emotionally immature. Disclaimer alert! Disclaimer alert! Please pause the video and read the disclaimer. So first of all, I want you to understand that emotional maturity is important for healthy relationships. Without emotional maturity, you really cannot have healthy relationships. Sadly, that's how it works. In order to have a healthy, healthy relationships, you have to be emotionally mature. Sign number one is that you have no boundaries. You have little to no boundaries, right? So you share too much when you talk to people you share too much you don't have a boundary on who and what you can share with who you just speak um when people get you on the phone they just keep going you don't say hey listen this is a time for me you don't know when is your limit you people you text and continue so there's no boundaries right so on communication on availability number two is you are not able to identify your emotions which makes sense how can you be emotionally mature if you don't know what you're feeling this video right here is going to tell you why it is important to know your emotions and then this one is going to help you process some of those emotions or be able to name or learn about the emotions so you if you're gonna have a healthy relationship you must be able to tell people what it is that you're feeling you must be able to identify to yourself what it is that you're feeling so one of the first things that you can do is name three to five emotions a day and the situations that you feel those emotions so that you can start to recognize what emotions you are feeling. Number three reason to see that you are emotionally immature is that you are unable to say that you're wrong, right? So, you know those people who apologize, I'm sorry I called you this or I yelled at you, but you did this and that. That's not an apology. So when you can recognize your mistake that, yes, a person agitated me, yes, they pissed me off, but I had no right to yell at them or to belittle them. You just go to them and say, hey, you know what? I was upset, and I, but I have no right to talk to you the way I did. I'm sorry I yelled at you. I'm sorry I belittled you. And that is what an apology is when you take full responsibility for your actions and not try to justify because the person did. of course we all get upset because people do things to us people said things about us or to us but an apology is taking responsibility for your action so emotionally mature people are not able to apologize emotionally immature people are not able to slow their reaction right when you are emotionally mature you are able to see that okay both parties are heated and if we continue to talk then we're going to damage the relationship then you take a little bit of a breather so you can process so time can pass so that you can also blow out steam do whatever it takes for you to do things that will stop you from saying things you might regret or doing and saying things that will hurt your relationship or hurt you right so emotionally immature people don't know how to take time in uh dbt they say use your intelligent brain right calm that impulse right don't be impulsive in how you react to people and emotionally immature people are not able to express their needs right they think their partners should know if you love me you should know this is what i need if you love me you should know that that hurt me people are not psychic they don't know that that joke hurt you or you forgetting 
the birthday or forgetting to do things hurt you. When you're emotionally mature, you're able to sit down with your partner and say, hey, listen, I realize that this might look small to you when I ask you to pick up the milk when you come home, on your way home, uh, you forget, but I want you to know that that's important because my lounge of love is you paying attention to the little things, right? So emotionally mature people are able to communicate their needs and their feelings emotionally. And you know, uh, my immature people expect people to be psychic, they act out, they gossip, they do horrible things that damages relationship. Are you emotionally immature? <laughs> yeah, I know it's you. Comment, say, you got me, I do this, I act out when I'm upset instead of telling my partner or my friend what it is I need. Like if you need your friend to come to that uh, dinner party with you, say, I, I really need you to come with me. I need a buffer instead of, yeah. And I asked her or him to come and do this with me and they didn't after everything that I've done for them. Can you believe it? They were not there for me after all that I've done for them. That's immature. Number six and my favorite is that emotionally mature people are able to make decisions on their own. So emotionally mature people, they know what they want, they know what they need, and they make the decision. They don't wait for you to tell them that that is a toxic relationship, you should get out of it. They know and they get out of it. They don't need your permission to be friends with somebody because you don't like that person. They do what they like because they are confident in knowing their needs and their wants and they do that. Are you emotionally immature? Are you emotionally matured? How many of this did you, is you, how many strikes did you get? Six out of six? Zero? Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.